Look at this. In this video, I will show you the best spike detector indicators to catch spikes just like this. I'll reveal to you how to use and install these indicators both on boom and crash. And at the end of this video, there is a special bonus that will help you make more money and take more trades with these indicators. So let's get into it. First, let me show you how to use the strategy. Then I'll show you how to set it up on your phone for this strategy we're going to be using the rsi and moving averages so this is what we're going to be using here so first let me show you how we use this strategy on boom this is how you use the strategy on boom and this is the same for all the boom pairs boom 1000 boom 500 boom 300 it is the same way so this is how you're going to be using the strategy and this is how you're going to be taking your entries the first thing you want to do is you first want to determine the trend and for you to be able to determine the trend you simply have to go go to your m15 time frame all right go to your m15 time frame and if your moving average is facing up like the way it is right now, it's facing upwards like this, then it is an uptrend. So what you want to do is you want to be catching spikes when a boom pair is in an uptrend, right? Like this. If it is in a downtrend like this, you don't trade it unless it's in an uptrend like this. So once you determine the trend, you see, you come to your M15, you see, you're like, okay, my trend is up, right? My trend is up. Then you want to go to a lower time frame, like your M1 for entries. Now, how are we going to be entering? What conditions need to be met for us to enter? These are the conditions that need to be met. We simply have to wait for these moving averages that are on our RSI to come down and touch this 10 level here. Simply to come down and touch this 10 level. When these moving averages come down and touch this 10 level, that's when we enter our trade. That's when we enter our trade, when these moving averages come down and touch this 10 level level now you might be wondering to yourself like davis what is the zoom level you want to make sure that it's completely zoomed out so how does completely zoomed out look like you see this is fully zoomed in completely zoomed out is like this the last zoom level completely zoomed out so when it's completely zoomed out you wait for it to come down and touch this 10 level when it touches that 10 level pa you enter your trade and when you enter your trade you'll be able to catch spikes like the way i showed you earlier all right so we can simply look at what the market has been doing every time it comes and touches that level you can see here when it came and touched that level we can see that we experienced a spike which was these it came down touched that level here and we experienced these spikes we can see here we can even look for another example let me look for another example for you so you want it to come down and touch this 10 level here here right here can you see that when it comes down and touches this 10 level the moving averages come down and touch your 10 level you can see what happens it begins to spike like we can see here it came it touched that level and spike 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 and spikes so all these are deep 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 profits for you now let's talk about tp and sell loss when do you want to tp and when do you when do you want to uh where do you want to put your stop loss all right so with this strategy you're going to be getting multiple opportunities right multiple opportunities so you want to make sure that you your tp is two spikes two good spikes right so let me give you an example 
let's say here it comes down you enter here and it gives you a spike and another spike you want to tp now you might be thinking to yourself well won't i believe in all these profits now the thing is that you are going to be getting multiple opportunities all right multiple opportunities so you want to take one big spike or two good spikes and then you exit all right and then you exit for your sell loss 10 percent of your account size and below 10 percent of your account size and below all right do not exceed that remember you want to protect your account size so that when the other opportunity comes you're also able to take it you also want to maximize that opportunity when it comes all right if you are struggling right now with risk management when trading boom and crash then you need the bulletproof risk management pdf people pay up to 300 dollars to get a package with this pdf in it but i'll send it to you for free simply go in the description below there you find a link that will take you to my whatsapp once you're on your once you're on my whatsapp just say i need the risk management pdf and i'll send it to you for free now let me show you for crash let me show you how to do it for crash all right so for crash let's give an example here crash 1000 so for crash for crash pairs the first thing you want to look for is the trend so for your trend you go to m15 time frame and you have to make sure it is in a downtrend how do you know that it's in a downtrend you simply look at where is this moving average that's on your main chart facing so for example right now it's facing down like this when it's facing down like this then you know that it is in a downtrend the market is in a downtrend all right if it was flat like this or if it was if it was flat like this or if it was in an uptrend like this like we see here we wouldn't take those trades we wouldn't look to catch spikes so for crash the first thing that you want is there to be a nice downtrend right a nice downtrend where the moving average is facing down like this this is how you do it for crash 1000 you simply have to wait for these moving averages that are on your rsi <clears throat> And I'm going to show you how to set these up, by the way. I'm going to show you how to set up everything. You simply wait for it to come and touch this 90 level here, this 90 line, this one. You want your moving averages to come and touch that line. Once they touch that line, pa, you enter your trade. You simply wait for the spikes to come. After two good spikes, so which would be this one and then this one, like we can see what happened here and then you want to exit your trade don't mind this right because if you start to hold your trades trying to catch more spikes you end up blowing your account so just simply take two good spikes and you're out of the market you wait for the next opportunity opportunities are going to be coming all right opportunities are going to be coming as you can see even here the moving averages came once they touch that line pa the spike happened right they came once that it touched that pa pa two good spikes you exit the market you're out you wait for the next opportunity and as we can see here the next opportunity didn't take long because it was right here it came back again touched that line another opportunity came up pa pa you take like that so what about for sellers again 10% of your account size and below do not exceed this number because you will blow your account and then you're just going to watch all these profitable trades come when you no longer have the funds to trade with it all right all right now let me show you how to actually set this strategy up on your phone so you simply want to tap this f here then the first thing you want to set up is your moving average that you want to be on your main chart, the one that you're going to be using to determine the trend. So you can see over here, right here, on your main chart, you simply click here, here, all right? So just tap there and then go to moving average. 
and make sure um, let me show you here so just simply tap there go to moving average and make sure the moving average that's on your chart has these settings there period 200 shift zero method exponential apply to close style you can see here and once you set this up if you want you can take a screenshot take a screenshot and once you set this up simply click done for me it's already on my chart so i don't have to click done then you come back again so you come back again and you tap on your main chart and then you insert your relative strength index so your relative strength index settings have to be like this period one apply to close style and then for your levels right for your style make sure it matches your background all right make sure it matches your background for your levels these are the levels that you want 90 50 10 these are the levels that you're going to be using once you do that simply click done and then on once you put this relative strength index you come you put your moving averages in your relative strength index window all right so you simply tap there once you tap there the first moving average you want to put is this one all right period one shift zero method simple apply to close all right then you can pick a color you want for me i picked red as you can see here and then once you put it up like this make sure to take a screenshot and then once you put it up like this click done all right then the next moving average you just have to come keep clicking here on indicator window one the next one is this moving average so it's period three shift zero method simple all right apply to close and the rest of the settings like this as you can see here so you can take a screenshot of that then the last moving average is this one all right so period eight shift zero method simple apply to close and then you can pick a color that you also want for me i picked this color and that's the color i'm using all right so once you set all these things up they should look like this on your indicator windows they should look like this and it should look like this on your chart so you simply wait for all your moving averages they're usually moving together to meet all those conditions now like i promised you there is a bonus here is your bonus all right i'm going to show you how you can use this strategy all right how you can use this strategy to make more money and take more trades so this is how you do it let's start with boom let me show you let me show you how you can take more trades with this let's start with boom so this is the way you do it this is the way you do it this is how you can take more trades with this strategy so you build up your account you build up your account and you want to take more trades this is how you do it you simply use this 50 line as an entry level right so when these moving averages are coming down they're coming down and bam they touch that 50 line you enter your trade once you enter your trade you use the same way we talked about tp solo same way as you can see spikes also happen at this 50 level you can see here spikes also happen at these 50 level if we want we can look for more examples of where this happened so we can see here these moving averages came down they exceeded this so your entry is here they exceeded this but you can see a spike came and boom it spiked up which was this move here so you can see that you can actually take more trades and make more money by simply using this 50 level all right simply you using this 50 level you'll be able to take more trades with this we can see it even here right it came down and bam when it touched this 50 level it spiked up so you can actually use this let's go over here on crash and see examples let's see some examples of this where this happened right where this happened so we can see here we can see here 
these moving averages when they came back up here they touched this 50 level here boom we experienced a spike so you can actually use this 50 level also for your entries and you're able to take more trades all right you're able to take more trades and make more money we can even look for another example you simply have to follow the same rules is you're just entering using this 50 level like you can see here all right you can see here but came once it touched this 50 level boom spiked we can see here it came once it touched this 50 level boom spike so we can see that when it comes and touches this 50 level here we experience spikes all right we experience spikes now there is certain things you need to know if you want to make money consistently in boom and crash so the next thing you want to do is watch the video that's appearing here on your screen and i'll see you there in a second